Hello. So yeah, I'm live. Hi. I'm just trying out a new format here. I've got Photoshop here. And I'm just wanting to talk a little bit about how we process emotions for the collective. So, of course, my name is Zach Hater, and I'm here to help people along their awakening and ascension journeys, make themselves more enlightened so that they can get to where they're intending to go. So yeah, let's get, let's get started on this. So I just want to say a little bit about, okay. Oh dear. Um, yeah, so let's say for example that we have your typical kind of awakened empathic person. They even have a little badge that says like purging for the collective since 2012 and they're so proud of it. <laughs> and they feel like they've taken so much weight on their shoulders and they're doing all of this stuff for the collective and like everything's on them and they've got to make it happen. And of course, that's a lot to do with like the ego stepping in and being like, oh, all this burden. But really, yes, well, there is like one third of the population of the planet who's really diving in and doing the heavy lifting in that way, emotionally. It doesn't mean that everyone else doesn't feel emotion because you, so you've got this awakened empath person here and then you've also got someone who's numbing their emotions and I was always of the belief that as someone who's facing their emotions who's feeling them who's empathic and who's able to pick up on other people's. Oh yeah, Emmanuel, here we go again. Is this the rerun or the deluxe version? This is the rerun because my hardware was unable to keep up with streaming live as well as, uh, as, well as recording at the same time with all of this fancy stuff I've got going on as well. So I'm just doing a live stream only now so it doesn't lag. So fingers crossed this live isn't coming out all laggy and distorted so yeah uh, yes so where was I so I was always of the understanding that this person here who's you know the awakened person who's feeling all the emotions who in recent years has probably been crying at least once a week <laughs> that kind of thing uh, that they actually are, so this person who's numbing their emotions, these emotions are actually coming into this awakened person and this awakened person is actually feeling those emotions for this person on their behalf. But I was listening to an Arturian channeling from Daniel Scranton a few weeks back and I was like, I've got to do a live video on this because it gave me a revelation. I was like, oh, I actually understand. Good quality is much better and I actually understand now how this works so how the Arcturian Council described it was that yeah let me just go back to it a second just refresh my mind yeah so how are we clearing for the rest of the human collective so as an empath we do actually tap into other people's emotions. And specifically when <clears throat> another person is numbing their emotions and just refusing to look at them as just burying them deeper down within themselves, we're more likely to tap into that. And that person could be anywhere in the collective. It could be in your local area. It could be on the other side of the planet. And so by that person numbing themselves in one way or another, that empath can tap into that emotion. But now we're not actually feeling that other person's emotion directly within ourselves as such, although in one way we are, but we're not. We're actually, we're actually feeling 
that trapped emotion that has come about from a past life aspect of ourselves. Say for example, in a past life, we got abandoned by our family or something like that. And then while we haven't experienced that in this life, that person who's over here numbing their emotions has just perhaps gone through that experience themselves. And of course, through that, they're then numbing their emotions, they're refusing to look at it, they're just depressed. They're not even, they just don't want to go into the pain of that too much. Us as the empath or the empath in this situation will actually feel that emotion based on that past life aspect of themselves of what they've experienced. And so they're integrating them in that way. And they're becoming more whole and complete by doing this work for the other human in question. But of course the ego doesn't like this. The ego will be like, Oh, why, why, why am I doing all of this work for everybody else? And, you know, the ego is all about separation. It's all about the idea that I am number one. I am the only person who's here. There's no one else. And my ultimate goal is for me to survive for as long as I possibly can, because, you know, that's the ego. It's very, it only knows what it knows. And it's always trying to just protect the human body and to avoid any pain. But then the true you, the higher aspect of yourself, the kind of, let's put something in here, like a circle, the higher aspect of yourself, your, your higher self, your higher consciousness knows that you are not just this person. You're not just this person, but you're also this person. You're also the entire planet as well. You know, everybody and everything you are connected to all that is. And so by this person doing this processing, this internal work, they're actually, they're actually cleansing, processing and clearing for all of these other humans, because this person here also represents another aspect of this person here. So by us doing this work, by us doing this work, we're actually processing for both of us, even though we're feeling our own emotions, not necessarily directly that person's emotions. And yeah, that's why people who are doing this work are responsible for the spike in our evolution of consciousness at this time. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of people that are in need right now. You know, like there's a lot of people who are going through a lot of anxiety, they're going through a lot of fear, a lot of sadness, anger. But in typical awakened soul fashion, the awakened soul is actually doing something about it, is actually facing the pain head on, as painful as it may be, and it is. Yeah, we're all humans. We can all relate to that. We all know that emotions are really, some of them can be very painful and really hard. You can be shut down and curled up in a ball on the floor. Whew, heavy stuff. So yeah, I'm glad I could share this because it was something that I always thought, you know, oh, I'm just going to, everyone's going to bombard me with their emotions and I'm going to have to deal with them. No, it's more you're just dealing with your own, but you're getting triggered to deal with your own through what other people are experiencing around you. I hope this makes sense and I'm going to end this now and I hope it's been of some kind of value. Thank you for watching. Bye for now and lots of love.